Hi, today we'll be making a very Sri Lankan dish, pol roti. Everybody loves pol roti and what goes best with pol roti is some lovely sini sambal. And of course some sago. I have made sago before. I'll share the recipe in the link as well. Starting off with some flour. I'm going to sieve my flour and I'm going to put 6 cups of flour. To this I'm adding 2 cups of grated coconut. I grate my coconut and I freeze them in bags. Whenever I need the coconut, I take it and keep it out way ahead of time. So that way I have fresh coconut any time I want. Mix the coconut, salt and flour really well before you start adding the water. Start adding water little by little and mix the dough until it's a nice soft dough. Some people like to add some chopped onions and green chilies to the roti as well. So if you like to, you can go ahead. But I like to eat some sweet rotis as well. So I am not adding them today. Now my dough is ready. So I am going to put a little bit of oil. I am using coconut oil. And I am going to rub it with coconut oil and leave it for about half an hour to rest. Now let's start making the roti. So I'm going to make small balls and keep it aside. And then I'm going to roll them. Already I have a pan on my fire heating up to make the rotis. Sure to cook the rotis in a medium heat. If the heat is too fast, it will cook the outside and the inside won't get cooked. So a slow cooking is the best. As they say, all good things take time. Keep turning the roti a few times while cooking so that both sides cook evenly. When it's brown, you can see it is cooked. Continue to make all your rotis the same way. Now we are getting ready to make the sini sambal. First, soak some tamarind in about half a cup of water. In a pan, I'm heating some oil. I'm going to use coconut oil today. Already chopped up my onions and it's ready. I'm adding a cinnamon first and then all the onions that I chopped finely. For the aroma, I'm adding some pandan leaf and some curry leaf. I've already added the cinnamon. A few green chilies for color. On a slow fire, let this cook completely till the onions are brown. When the onions are cooking and translucent like this, I'm going to add some moldy fish and salt. Moldy fish gives a lovely taste to the sea sample. Now let's get some color. I'm putting a little bit of turmeric and quite a lot of chili flakes. I like my sea sample spicy. So the chili depends on your taste. I like my sini sambal sweet, so I'm putting a little bit of sugar as well. Actually, this is a dish that has sweet, sour and spice. So go ahead and add all three in equal quantities and you have a fantastic sini sambal. Now that is ready to be served. Making pol roti at home is a really easy thing. It's a quick thing and everybody loves it. And it smells nice and tastes amazing. I'm sure you're going to try this and I made a few hearts as well to eat with the sweet kanji that is the sego. Have fun, enjoy, bye for now.